sin. And there is no sacrifice for you if you willfully sin. Okay? There's no Christ is my sacrifice. Yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no, he's not. No, he's not. You know better than I do. But I did. I did. I do, because I'm looking at your power and you're breaking God's laws. Yes, yes, yes. That's why you're going to die here. You're going to die here. Sister, how you doing? Shalom, okay. How you doing, sis? Good. Who is welcome to the kingdom of heaven, and do we believe in the law? Okay, now are we talking about the laws that God gave for our good, or are we talking about the law of sacrifice? We're talking about God's law. Okay. That's what David brings. The law, the law that God gave to Moses. Okay. Do we believe in it? Yes. Okay, good. And the first one again was? Is everyone welcome to the welcome kingdom? Welcome to the kingdom. Okay, let me have Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14, verse 1. The question is, is everybody welcome in the kingdom? And I say, absolutely. Absolutely. All those who survive the destruction of God, who right. are left behind, yes, they are welcome into the kingdom of heaven. Right. No matter what color, right? No matter what color. We're going to read it, though. Okay. Let's see. Read. The book. You should turn to it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. You listening good? For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. On everyone. Mercy on Jacob. Uh-huh. And will yet choose Israel. You know, he's going to choose everybody on the planet. And will yet choose Israel. So right now we have the contextual basis, right? The Lord is going to uh, choose Jacob, which is the forefather nation of Israel, and will also choose his descendants, the children of Israel. Are we clear so far? The children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's descendants. Right. right. He'll yet choose them, right? Let's keep reading. And set them in their own land. Who's them that's going to be set in their own land? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's start from the top again. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. So who's going to get mercy? Let's read it again. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Who's going to gain mercy? Very good. Let's keep reading. And will yet choose Israel. Who's going to be chosen? Very good. Good. Let's keep reading. And said them. And, and said who? And said them. Who is them? See how we, we see how quickly quickly we lose the thought. No, so that, I, no, I'm just waiting for you to. No, uh, well, it's, interactive. it's interactive, right? Yeah. When you walked up, it was interactive with the brother who was here. So is it okay? So can I? Or whenever you're finished. Yeah, yeah. We want we want to make sure you all understand. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so read that part again, and we we'll what? And we'll set and we we'll yet and we we'll yet choose Israel and set them set them in their own land. Now you were here earlier asking about Hebrew Israelites, right? Saying you understood that was your nationality. Why would the Lord have to set the children of Israel in their own land? Why? He went over it very detailed. What happened to the children of Israel? Very good. Very good. So the children of Israel are no longer in their land. So this is why when the Lord has mercy on Jacob and chooses Israel, he has to now set them in their own land. 
because the children of Israel were set into everyone else's land in slavery. Right. Makes sense, right? Let's keep reading. And the strangers. And who? And the strangers. I'm sorry, read that again. And the strangers okay. shall be joined with them. So not only the children of Israel, but they're going to the ones who will gain mercy and will be chosen. Now it mentions the strangers, right? Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So they're going to cleave to the house of Jacob, meaning they're understanding all that they need. They're going to have to go to the house of Jacob for it. This includes all other nations, right? Let's keep reading, though. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. So it says the people are going to take them and bring those strangers to their own places. Kind of like when we were scattered into different lands, we were taken and brought into those slave masters' own places. Same thing, right? We're reading the flip side to that coin. But let's keep reading. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall possess what? Possess them. Who's the them that's talking about? That's talking about there. Bring it out. The adversary. The, oh, the, he said the adversary. I like that. So the children of Israel are going to possess a people. But let's keep reading. And the land of the Lord. So that land that he placed the children of Israel in is the land of the Lord. God is going to keep this land holy. He's going to sanctify this land. He's going to make sure there's no iniquity in this land. Right. And in that land, the children of Israel are going to possess people. Mm. Go ahead. For servants. For what? For servants. So those other nations that are there, they have a purpose. The same way when we were brought right here to Charleston, South Carolina, on those slave ships, we were brought here with a purpose. Right. Right. The Lord says when he turns the tide on that table, there's going to be a purpose for those other nations that will be left behind. Right. That's right. Read that part again. And shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. So will everyone be there? Because when you read uh, first, first Maccabees chapter 2, it says every nation had a hand in Jerusalem. Right. Meaning every nation has benefited off of the slavery of the children of Israel at some time or another in some geographical location or another. Right. God says those who held them captives or had a hand in their captivity, you will then become their servants. Read that part again. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. In the 1300s, the Chinese Empire, the Tang Empire, went to the, the east coast of Africa and took slaves into their empire to build and die for pearls. Many people don't know that. In the 8th century up until now, the trans-sub-Saharan slave trade, Arabs, took us into slavery and are still doing it today in Libya. They had a hand in it. We could go down the line. Every nation had a hand yeah, in the captivity of the children of Israel at some yeah. point or another. Yeah. So guess what? We serve a just God. Right. And I love the sound of that. Right. If we have to endure our punishment right now, how much more do the nations have to endure enslaving the children of God? Right. Right. It's only right. We serve a just God, right? right. So we, we're hearing justice right now. And it involves all the nations. Right. But read that again. And free? they shall. I'm sorry. Um, so we're not free right now. Oh hell no! Nah. Hell no! Nah. You were just working on the Sabbath, right? Yeah, I just went. Are you not working? You were just. You, you, were, just, you were just working on the Sabbath. Are you? I, sir, I have my own business. You were just working on the Sabbath. So that's you. That should be even more of a shame you're that you driving, can't. You can't control driving. your own hours on in your business. Yes, I don't live right. by the law. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't hey. live by the law. I bet, I bet when I the white man said it's time Jesus to shut down, Christ. you live by his I laws. I bet, I bet that. I, I bet that. Jesus did Christ. Jesus Christ keep the Passover? I believe the Jesus Christ. You, did Jesus keep so the let's Passover? Talk, now we're talking. Did Jesus keep the Passover? So let's talk about Ephesians. Did Jesus keep the Passover? Okay. All right. Read that. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. We shall what? Rule. Over their oppressors. We shall what? Rule over their oppressors. Brothers Joshua 6. We shall what? Rule over their oppressors. We shall what? Rule over their oppressors. What did God say? 
rule over their oppressors. God says the children of Israel will rule over their oppressors. That's it. That's it. That's it. The banks is the only answer. Not the people who control the banks. Not the people who, who, who took, what was the bank? The Freedom, Freedom's Bank. Freedom's Bank had all of the free slaves' money in it. The white man says, you know what, let's shut this down. I got all the slaves' money. Are you serious? And give me Baruch 3 and 8. Let's see, Baruch 3 and 8. Bring it out. Bring it out. He says, oh, you're all over the place. So, if I believe in Jesus Christ, if okay. I believe in Jesus Christ, right? Because I do, he's my Lord and Savior. Hey, hold on. I believe in Jesus. I don't give me, give me, by give me the, law because I the I book Jesus of the Ruth, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day. We are what? Yet this day in our captivity. Hey, I have a question for you. There is no grace in the law. I want to ask a question. There is no grace in the law. I want to ask a question. Uh -huh. Let's talk about the Galatians, because you are the people that he's talking about. Uh -huh. Right. That's who you are. He said, "Who bewitched you?" Oh, really? Who bewitched you? Okay, so let me ask you a question. You so you're not, you're not here, you're not here to dialogue. Who the live by the law? You're not here to dialogue. No, I listen to you like you're not. five, seven minutes. You're, you're not here to dialogue. To you to well, because you asked a question and I was answering it, but no, I, with the word of God. To, well, I was answering with the word of God. I'm, I'm just scripting scripture. Okay, so right now we're talking. That, that was Are you ready? Are you ready? So she can, she she just quoted Galatians three, correct? No, no, I you said who bewitched you? Let's go to it. We'll, we'll help you. Ephesians we'll help two. you. I said Ephesians Galatians three, two. I verse said Ephesians one. Two, Let's read it. Ephesians Galatians two, three, verse one. She just quoted it. I did. The book of Galatians chapter three, verse one. Oh foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you yeah, that you know. ye should not obey the truth. Before whose eyes Jesus Christ have been evidently keep set going. forth, crucified among you. I have a question keep about going. that part. I'm, we're going to keep going. going. I, I have a no, question. No, no, keep going. You said Let's no. Talk about it. Let's talk about it. I have Therefore, a question about that first the part. The law was our tutor to bring us to Christ, that I, we might I, be justified by faith. She quoted but verse after one. faith has come, we so, are no longer under a tutor. Okay. Let's not pick and choose one okay. scripture. Let's okay. keep going. Let's read the whole time. Yes, we're going, okay. we're going to. We're going to. We're going to. But you asked about foolish Galatians who had bewitched you. You mentioned that. You yes, did. I did. I okay. Sure did. So I want I want I to ask you a question because you came to came out here to teach. You came to teach somebody I'm something, not huh? Came to preach the gospel. You came to teach somebody something. Okay. So we're, we're, we're in the gospels right now. You're, right? You are it. Okay. You're All right. So I have a question for you, Miss Preacher Woman. Okay. Right? Okay. So read the bottom part of that verse again. Have been evidently set forth, crucified among. Go up a little bit. Before whose eyes Jesus Christ have been evidently set forth, crucified among you. Question. Okay. Paul made a statement to the Galatians. He said, whose eye had evidently been set before you. When was that? Bring it out. Hmm. When people started talking about the law, they brought the law to What's the script? Galatian Give me, me the scripture. Where, where can okay. we go? Let's talk about Galatians 2. So Paul is talking about an earlier part in Galatians, what you're saying. Because I'm asking you a simple question. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the Galatians. Paul is talking to the church of Galatia. Yes. And he's making mention yes. that you're foolish because Christ has evidently been set before you. What is he talking about? He's talking about why are you living by the law? Why are you living why by the law of what? The, of what? The law of God. Law of, law of all of all the laws of God. So Paul didn't keep any of God's laws. He didn't keep any feast days. He didn't keep the Sabbath. He did not say keep the law. That's not what he said. Hey, give me that when he when he taught out of the law of Moses. Um, give me that when he taught he taught them daily every Sabbath. It's in Acts, Acts seventeen. Let's get it because that means Paul is contradicting himself. But let's see. He's not contradicting himself. He clearly said what he said to Galatians. He said, "Do not even rebuke Peter Peter because why." Because Peter said, oh, you have to do the thing. No, 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 no. You're wrong. You're talking no, about, that's, that's Galatians chapter 2, verse 1. When he rebuked Peter's because Peter didn't want to sit with the Gentiles. Okay, he, so he forsook them because he thought in his mind they were unclean, which was revealed to him in Acts 15. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So you're, you're actually exactly. misquoting and mis uh, 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 edifying 
on something that you really know nothing about. It's okay. Christianity has lied to us too. But guess what? Like you mentioned, the truth has set us free. All praises to the Lord. The book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 2. And Paul, as his manner was, and Paul, as his manner was, as she stated, as she stated, went and unto them and three Sabbath days. Oh, wait, wait, when was Paul teaching? And three Sabbath days. Whoa, she said we out here working, but Paul was teaching on the Sabbath day too. Man, I tell you. The book of Acts, chapter 28, verse 23. And when they had appointed him a day, there came many to him in his lounge, lounging, to whom he expounded and testified. That wait, 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 wait. He expounded and testified. When you, when a testify is a testament, meaning an agreement, or you solidify something. Read. To whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses. Out of what? Out of the law of Moses uh -huh. and out of the prophets. So wait a minute. Where was Christ first spoken? Because he said, he said, he talked about Christ out of the law of Moses. So if you do away with the law, that means you're doing it with some of Christ, right? Because Christ was in the law of Moses. Hold on, hold on. I asked a simple question. We're not under the law. Let's, let's read that again. We're not under the, the book law. of Acts, you chapter 28 and verse 23. You are. And when they had appointed him a day, and there came many to him into his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus. Both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets. So now, why do we go to the Old Testament, back to the New? Because Paul did the same thing. He had to persuade them out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets. Because the New Testament is only a shortened version of the Old Testament. But let's see. Hey, bro, you know what? You a Jew too. I like that thing. We the, we the Jews. We the Jews. But uh, real quick. Real quick, real quick. Hey, give me that in Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9, verse 7. She said she's a child of God. How do you prove that? I don't have to prove it. You don't have to prove it. I don't have to prove it. Oh, give me First Thessalonians chapter 4. Bring it out. I believe in the blood of Jesus. Okay. My identity okay. is not in that. Okay. My identity is not in that. My okay. identity is in Christ. Okay. Your identity is in my, sin. My identity is in Christ. Your identity is in sin. You're a sinner. Your identity is in sin. You're willfully sinning. You're a sinner. You're sinning. You are and there is no you sacrifice for you if you willfully sin. You okay. Do you There's no Christ is my sacrifice. sacrifice. No, no, yeah. No, yeah. No, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's not. You know better than I do. Me a sinner. But I did. I did. I did. Because I'm looking at your apparel and you're breaking God's uh, laws. So now you're, yeah. Yes. Now we're back to the law. Yes. I don't live by the law. Yes. I don't, not under That's why you're going to die here. You're going to die here. That's when. So when Christ. So when Christ comes to judge this place. I, what is he going to I judge you for? God, what is what are you gonna do, what are you gonna be judged for? So you you for your deeds. Very good. Very good. And if the deeds are according to the book Who that's opened you and your me? book, I'm not judging you. Yes, you I'm you actually you telling me. you about judgment. Right, right. I'm, I'm informing you. I, I want you to listen good. Take the AirPods. Take the AirPods out. Take the AirPods. Take the AirPods out. Give me first Timothy chapter two. Bring it out. Let's get it. Where does it say? Let's I get it. That's his opinion. Let's get it. That's his opinion. <laughs> now it's his opinion. <laughs> Yo, Christianity is a damn joke, man. Christianity is a damn joke, man. Christianity, I'll say it again. Christianity is a joke. It's a joke. Yes. Get that right. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner, it's some stuff the white man there's some stuff the white man made up. Give me, a, give me the scripture. Give me the scripture. Give me the scripture. See, you don't have a scripture because you believe the white man more than you believe God. Five-fold ministry. Where is that? Somebody, anybody know what that verse is? It doesn't exist. Really. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. I want you to get this scripture that we're reading. We don't want this one because it's opinion. It's his opinion. Really. In like manner also. That women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. With shamefacedness and so you know what shamefaced means? You wouldn't be yelling up in men's faces. 
That's 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 the point. You see that? You see that? Hey, give me that. Give me that. And was it Corinthians? First Corinthians about a woman preaching. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So Priscilla was a, a support to her husband Aquila. That's what she was. She she understood order. Let's get it. Hey. The book of First Corinthians, chapter fourteen, verse fourteen. Hey. Get get the verse where Priscilla was in the street yelling in men's faces in some little shorts. Let's get it. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my which one? Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Verse thirty-four. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to unto them to speak, for they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. Wait a minute. Paul says women are to follow the law, but she says she's not under the law. Wait a minute. But Paul just said it. You were quoting Galatians, but now Paul says in the Corinthians, "Oh, I'm not following that." Listen. Christianity is of the devil the Bible speaks of. Christianity is of the devil. It is of the devil. Christianity is of the devil. Because it causes you to transgress the laws of God without a care in the world. Without any thought of consequences. Christianity is of the daggone devil, man. Read that thing again. Like your women keep silence in the churches. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience. Paul says the women are commanded oh, to be under obedience. Oh, that shows you don't believe the Old Testament or the New Testament. Oh, you don't believe the word of God. Yeah, That's what it boils down to. You pick and now, stick around, bro. Stick around. Don't, don't, let, don't let demons run you off. Don't let demons run you off. No, there's no hey. such thing as... As saith the law. As say what? As saith the law. As saith the law. As saith the law. Because she's not under the law, she can't learn how to be humble. She can't learn how to be humble. So when Christ says to humble as a little child, she's unable to do that. Because she refuses to do what God says. Give me Galatians 2.17. Galatians 2.17. So they want they they want to know how to be an evangelist, but they don't know how to not break the Sabbath. Ain't that something? 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 Wait, the Book of Galatians, chapter two and verse seventeen. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ, so what happens is we seek we seek to be justified by Christ. Right? Not, have grace. We have ourselves grace. also are found mercy. sinners. Is therefore Christ the minister uh, of sin? Wait a minute. Holy it says, Is Christ the minister of sin? Is Christ the minister of sin? Did Christ teach her to break the commandments on the dress code? Did Christ teach her to break the commandments on the Lord's Sabbath day? Did Christ teach her that? Read that last part again. But if well do we so the Bible so the Bible the Bible is not making sense? Wait. Is therefore Christ the minister of sin? Is Christ the minister of sin? Because yes, is Christ the minister did Christ tell you to break the commandments of God? What is a sinner? What is a sin? What is sin? What is sin? What is sin? What is sin? We've been bring out the word all day. All day. All day. What is sin? Simple question. What is sin? Sins of the flesh. I'm going to ask you again. What is sin? Simple. We're going to see if Christianity is true or not. Because you're going to the churches every Sunday. And if you don't know one simple question. What is sin? Which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, idolatry, That says the works of the flesh, correct? That's sin. The works of the flesh. We're going to help you. That's sin. We're going to help you all. That's sin. We're going to show you what sin is according to the word of God. Let's see. New Testament. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressive also the law. So a, someone who commits sin, the way you commit sin is by transgressing the law. Keep reading. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws. Right. So when she just said a few seconds ago that we're all 
all sinners, she's also claiming she's breaking the laws of God. So are you. That's why Jesus came. So are you. So is For Jesus the minister like of sin? So he is the minister. He came to everyone. So everyone is he the God minister of sin? Because after Jesus God healed, so the world that no man after Jesus perish. healed, what did he tell them? Do what no more. What did he say? No what did Jesus say? No more. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I am so confused right now. I'm so confused. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said the I can't. Give me that. Was it Thessalonians? That they all are damned? Give me that. Find that. That they all be damned. That they all be damned. We're going to read it because she said, she said, I can't say that, right? I can't say that. Oh, no, it's a curse. First Thessalonians two and twelve. Oh, oh, second Thessalonians two and twelve. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that. It's the book of Second Thessalonians. So, so when I said Christianity's of the damn devil, Christianity's of the damn devil. Let's see if the context changes. Read Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse twelve. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. Hold on a second. Do they believe the truth in Christianity? No. Do they believe the truth in Christianity? Do they believe the truth in Christianity? No. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Hold on. So let's read what context you can use the word damn in. Let's read it again. That they, oh, you ain't got to tell us to break it down. We know we're going to break it down. Because we're the prophets of God out here. Yeah. Read that thing. Yeah. That they all yeah. might be damned. Yeah. That what? Yeah. That they all might be damned. Yeah. Read that again. That they all might be down. So, is that the wrong context about Christianity? No, it's not. Hey, this a prophet. That's 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 a prophet. And brother, you are soon to be prophet, brother. Keep the laws of God. Keep the laws of God. Keep the laws of God. So yeah. So anybody can be a prophet. Not you. Oh, oh, not me. Not you? Not? I'm going to show you why. Give me 1 Samuel 15, 23. We'll show you. We'll show you. We'll show you. Uh, 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 Miriam was a prophetess. But guess what Miriam did? Miriam grabbed timbers. Of course you bring up Miriam. Miriam, because she's a prophetess. Deborah was a judge. The boy was a judge. She was a judge. She was a judge. Okay, so give me what prophet she brought forth. What, pro what prophecy did she bring forth? Give it, to, give it to me, sister. You don't know. Right. Listen, you ain't, you ain't up here mangling with some Christian uh, theologians. Right. You ain't with the prophets of God, sister. Right. You ain't getting no wings over here. You're None not whatsoever. A You're not a prophet. Read that. You're a false prophet. Samuel. Check. Prove You're it. A false yeah, come on, brother. Bring it out. I'm not judging nobody. Okay. But my sister, you might believe brothers alone. Right. I mean, you, I mean, you really set yourself up for some stuff. Oh, really? I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I'm not judging nobody, but if, if, but if, I'm not judging nobody, but if you don't want to hear them, you leave. My mellow, my man. If you don't like the word, kick rocks. See, I told you it was a prophet to be, man. That brother's a prophet. It's just that simple. If you don't want to hear the word of God, kick rocks. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.